I think we've all realized that the future of the original series doesn't feel quite so futuristic as it did 50 years ago. Clunky tablet computers, large boxy communicators, a view screen smaller than most household televisions, and desktop monitors that are, well, you know. But with the slightest bit of imagination and changing some baseline assumptions, I think that a lot of the tech in the original series can still easily be futuristic. Today, I'm going to focus on the desktop monitors because there are actually some incidental canonical reasons to believe that they are far more advanced than they at first appear. The first thing that I noticed is that these monitors have the same blue border as the view screen. Now, it's not confirmed in the original series per se, but by the next generation, we know that the view screen is not some oversized HD monitor. It's a highly advanced holographic display that in effect is more akin to looking through a window than looking at a screen. The image is not two dimensional, but instead is a lifelike three dimensional holographic projection. We only ever see the view screen from one angle in the original series, so there's no hard visual evidence that it functions similarly to the one in the next generation. But we know that lifelike holographic projections existed in this time period, and there are a few tell tell signs that the view screen is more than it appears. For instance, as early as season one, when the Enterprise crew hacks into a Romulan view screen system, they can evidently control the angle and orientation of the image. If we accept what we're seeing on screen in a literal way, it's actually very similar to the security feed that Kirk is exploring in Into Darkness. Despite huge advancements in photogrammetry, this sort of clarity hasn't been achieved yet, much less in video form. So between the existing technology the on-screen quirks, and the revealed intention of view screen technology, it's very safe to say that the original series view screen operates in very much the same way as its next generation counterpart. And the desktop monitors appear to operate using the same technology, given the visual styling of the screen. Not all monitors in Star Trek have this blue border, so we can't say that it's just how they styled computer screens on the show. Only certain monitors have this styling. The view screen, the upper bridge monitors, and the desktop monitors. So we can responsibly make an assumption that these are meant to represent different technologies. So what that could mean is that when we're looking at things through these monitors, we're not seeing something like this. We're actually seeing something like this. And this is technology we've only barely begun to scratch the surface of in real life. And consequently, that means that these monitors are not chunky, oversized artifacts of a bygone age, but are actually really impressive pieces of technology technology, at least for now. But what do you think? Do you agree with my assessment or am I reaching here? Or what other seemingly outdated Trek technologies should I investigate next? Let me know. If you like this sort of video, I have plans to do more, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out on future uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.